giving your attention and a great welcome to our graduation ceremony in this wonderfully refurbished conference suite at the City Hall in Bristol. It's a great pleasure for me to kind of stand here and open this graduation ceremony. It's the fourth in our program here, which started off as a purely Bristol program and now has expanded into a Bristol and West of England program. And I will say a bit more about that later. But over these four years, we have supported close to 80 social entrepreneurs, students and aspiring entrepreneurs in the city and around. And they are doing good work. They have joined the social economy here, which is kind of vibrant in the city, but themselves have created now 150 jobs and 400 volunteering opportunities, and they're turning over well over a million pounds every year. So we are kind of contributing with our work, not just to the kind of wealth and well-being of communities, but actually also creating jobs and supporting the economy in the city and around in the kind of area around Bristol. So it's a great pleasure to kind of have you here where we are kind of celebrating 21 students who are finishing the program at this point and you're going to hear from them in a moment and I'm going to keep you too long about this. And the key thing for Darkskin Trust is that we have a very strong historical connection with social enterprise and particularly with School for Social Entrepreneurs because the founder of School for Social Entrepreneurs actually grew up in Dartington, went to school there and got a lot of his education and forming from the aims and visions of the founders of the Dartington Trust. So Michael Young, later Lord Young of Dartington, went to London and amongst many other things set up School for Social Entrepreneurs. And we were really lucky that in 2009, as part of a sort of regional expansion of the school and the creation of a social franchise network, we were able to have a school back in Dartington, which now serves the southwest from Bristol all the way down to Plymouth. So with that, Dartington is very kind of pleased to support the school and is very much part of the strategy of Dartington Trust to be a place of social innovation, social enterprise, and the kind of, I suppose, a place for social justice, for inclusion, for accessibility, and the kind of good growth and good economy that I think we are all in this place here now looking for. And it's with great pleasure that I'm sort of looking at the first of our students to come up here and kind of present their project to you. We will be running through all the students, and if you have in your bag your graduation booklet, if you look at the, the handbook, it kind of follows the same order. I'll make space for you and welcome you onto the stage. <laughs> 